Aloha and good morning, my friends. Today we do a little garden video and just talk and it's a beautiful morning. Been harvesting quite a bit of uh, Swiss chard. Boy, that's good stuff if you've never had it. You might replace some of your other greens with that because it's really good. I guess I'll flip sideways here so it'll be a little better. And we've got some more Swiss chard there. And uh, these are all turnip greens, all these little ones. Over here we have kale, covered morning dew. more uh, turnip greens back there is uh, broccoli or uh, cauliflower these are melons um, the green kind what are those called not cantaloupes but the green ones I can't think of what they're called other than melons some black basil and then uh, this is all spinach down here. You guys ever seen a variegated iris? I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked one up. Back here, my beans are doing pretty good. Got a little bit of okra. Some uh, <coughs> cucumbers. And then these are my sour melon plants coming on up. Never grown those or eaten those. So it'll be interesting to see what that's like. And then I've got some okra here and then i got a bunch more okra over in the other garden. And uh, as this planter was just not big enough, I went ahead and built this one and it looks a little funky right now with all the organic material in the bottom uh, it's got to be filled with soil yet I'm gonna save these cord cardboard boxes because I use the cardboard boxes underneath mulch so before I laid this mulch down next to it, I put down cardboard and then I put the mulch over it. And as you can see, no grass comes through. And then I got my compost bin set up down here at this end. So, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's see if this chair is dry, I don't think it is. Not really. View of the trees and the sky and the sun's coming up and it's another beautiful day in 5D. But seemingly not too many people are in 5D yet. They're still making their way. And if the manipulators have their way, you'll never get here. You'll never make it. And as long as people stay mind controllable, they're going <clears> to <throat> keep dictating what you can and can't do. They could, they could come out tomorrow and say, uh, COVID-20 has been discovered. So now we got to do everything. We got to do, do it all again. We got to fearfully cower in our homes and act like we're afraid to speak to people unless we've got our face diapers on. 
and just it's holding you I'm not you again I generalize if it applies it applies if it don't it don't but it holds people in a low resonant state of consciousness and you we create our realities we co-create our realities and so what kind of reality <clears throat> excuse me are we going to create if we're in a low dense consciousness where we're waiting for the next expert to tell us what we should or shouldn't do And why are we, <clears throat> why are we even listening to these ex so-called experts anyway? Who trusts the damn government? All these, the CDC and all these people are all <clears throat> interconnected with the government. That nobody believes or trusts if they have any sense at all left. And so why are you, <clears throat> excuse me, god dang, why are we, not we, why are people so quick to repeat people that are untrustworthy? That'd be like if you had a, a, an aunt or an uncle that you knew was a compulsive liar. And they came and spewed a bunch of crap to you. And then you went around repeating it, though it was fa as though it was fact. Why would you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. Nobody would do that. They would. You would think, oh, I know that Aunt Susie's a compulsive liar, and so <clears throat> I'm not really gonna repeat too much of what she says because I know it's bullshit. But that stupid ass TV and these stupid ass experts run their traps, and then people repeat it like it's fact. And is, is that not mind-controlled? If you're repeating some bullshit that you were told by a so-called expert, then you've been mind-controlled, because they want you repeating their lies. I'm going to go back up here because a dry place to sit. Almost spent, but they're beautiful. I wish I could show you uh, some of the gigantic blackberries. I'm getting off these thornless blackberry bushes, but my squirrels discovered them. And so they did kind of a number. Let's see if there's any left. They pretty much stripped them bare. Even the green ones, the little suckers. If I didn't love squirrels so much, I'd be all over their asses. I thought I saw. Well, anyway, there's one right there. That one's not as big as the other ones were. I did eat a few before they were discovered. So, it's the same old thing. Have I shown you my, uh, Zabrina? Look at that paint job, man. That is awesome. That's a banana. Zabrina banana plant. Oh, and my nasturtiums are blooming, and they're quite beautiful as well. I've got <clears throat> another uh, yeah, golden angel's trumpet. I think I might have showed you these. I can't remember. And then I got a variegated 
angel's trumpet there. If you want to see what they look like when they grow up to be big boys and girls, they look like this. That's like the biggest leaf I've ever seen on a angel's trumpet. And here's the flowers <clears throat> coming, buds coming. And those suckers are gonna be huge. And those one, these ones are pink. Some more nasturtium down here. Pretty cool. And uh, what the hell? I got a beautiful clematis in bloom over here. The other color. I might as well show you this. There's the old ones. That's what's left of those flowers. <clears throat> More nasturtium here, variegated kind. Pretty cool. Different color flowers on these. But, uh,. It's just, it's a trip. It's a trip to be conscious down here. <laughs> Amongst so many unconscious people that are manipulated and they have no idea of it. And uh, it's no wonder, I mean, I'm not really surprised because this nation, culture, grew up sitting in front of TVs and then they transitioned from TVs to their gadgets. And there's a lot more truth to be found now than ever before. But even that is suppressed. I mean, uh, you know, I only have like 620 subscribers and you know, maybe 30 or 40 people of the 620 will watch my video. And then I know there's other conscious channels that, uh, it's like anything good down here or truthful or genuine is <clears throat> put to the bottom. And the more sensational, irrational, outright lies and deception. Oh, well, that's promoted, man. We, we even got advertisers on those channels. People, people align themselves with what should be at the bottom. But see, everything's upside down. This is upside down world. Which brings to mind a, vi a Bible verse. One of them that's... Let me speak about the Bible for just a second. <clears throat> the Bible has a... Hold on. The Bible contains a lot of truth. Problem <clears throat> with the Bible. Well, it's metaphor. That's so it contains a lot of truth that's coded. And a simpler way to understand that would just be to know that it's metaphors. It's metaphoric, and it's at a level <clears throat> of coding and or consciousness that you can't readily absorb or understand if you're still operating through your programs and or filters. So it's become a tool for deception. So that's why a lot of people have a problem with Christianity and 
don't really give too much shit about the Bible because it has been used as such a tool because the understanding that needs to be uh, in place isn't there. The consciousness level that one needs to be at isn't available. Well, it's available, but it's just not, uh, we're just not there. And with the master manipulators manipulating everything, it's not going to be there. Now, if you became <clears throat> highly conscious, highly awakened, you could understand the Bible in a much more profound way. But then you would you would just be on your own because everybody else is still going to be interpreting it the way that they've been programmed to interpret it. So what good would it really do you? I mean, it would do you good on a personal level, but to try to share it or try to, uh, you know, you would just, it would, it would clash with the program. And so you would get written off as whatever. So that's why I just, I don't even really bother with it anymore. But... It says in there, you know, the truth will be called lie, and the, and the lie will be called truth. <clears throat> well, that's certainly our world. Or, uh, I, I hate to include myself or you with some of this stuff, because if you're in 5D, then that's not your world. So that's, let's say the majority is in third density still, so that's their world. That's their reality, because they're still <clears throat> in 3D consciousness. Once you ascend higher, then that won't be your world. Now you'll still be, it'll be among you, or you'll be among it. listening to the birds and the beauty and the peace this whole see when you're in 5d man you hear feel sense 5d <laughs> and it's so beautiful you just want to shut up and listen and feel and absorb and communicate on that other level <clears throat> resonate with her It's like growing pains, I suppose, you know. Humanity is very immature. I don't care what age they're at, physically. <clears throat> we're, we're a very immature world. Because, you know, to me it's obvious, but I'll just say it. Because, because everybody is primarily identifying as their ego. Egos are extremely immature. The soul has been sidelined. That's where your wisdom is. That's where your maturity is. That's where your answers are. That's where your peace is. That's where your power is. That's where your magic comes from. And if that's all, if that's been sidelined, then everything that comes with it <clears throat> has also been sidelined. 
And so again, you've been reduced. They've been reduced to their lowest level of an egoic third density physical human that's been trained and mind controlled <clears throat> to believe that uh, you know you're here for your career to gain some material goods to live a good life and feel good and there's nothing wrong with a good life nothing wrong with feeling good but that's not primarily why we're here you're not here to be a cog in a matrix machine but that's what they've become and they believe it that's the problem they believe it they believe that's why they're here and they give their whole entire life to it and they don't progress spiritually which is why you're here that's why you're here you're here to have an amazing experience in a in an amazing garden in a beautiful amazing realm but all that got replaced with a theory we'll just give them a theory a big explosion happened and over billions of years everything has come to this and this is advanced we're so advanced we're not advanced at all <clears throat> we're not evolved even if the theory were true we've devolved just look at some of the older structures that were uh, built in so-called primitive times and we can't come close to doing it today we're devolved but our egos have us thinking that we're advanced. We're so advanced that uh, the trustworthy branches of government can create vaccines to save you because they love you, man. They want you healthy. That's why they give you good food. That's why they give you good programs. That's why they fuck with us non-stop, because they love